You see, to the public, the environmental movement is stuck in despair and confusion. I mean, we talk about all these different problems, but on top of that, we are talking a language that most people don't really understand. What are greenhouse gases? What is climate change? What about COP26? What is COP? And what is net zero? And what is carbon neutral? And what is carbon free? And what is environmental justice? And what about this 1.5 degrees Celsius that we can't go any higher of that? And does everyone in the world understand Celsius? Because we in America, we deal with Fahrenheit. So all of that stuff goes right over people's heads. In the words of Winston Churchill, this pudding has no theme. The human brain gets overwhelmed. So do our political institutions. To change the metaphor, our shotgun approach is not working. We are trying to hit all of those targets at once. We need a rifle approach. We need to have one target. I say focus on pollution. Everyone gets what pollution is. It is simple to identify and to understand because you can see it coming out of the smokestacks. It doesn't matter where you look, Los Angeles, London, Beijing, New Delhi, Sao Paulo, everywhere you see pollution. You see the smog that's killing people. Pollution is enemy number one. Pollution kills the coral reefs. It makes the iceberg melt. It is the very thing that causes climate change and it makes our temperatures rise. So if we get rid of pollution caused by fossil fuels, we get rid of a lot of the other problems. Why are we always just talking about climate change? Pollution is the very thing that kills 7 million people every year. Now here's the thing about focusing on pollution. See, it's not overwhelming because it's all about hope. If pollution created by humans, then we can solve it. Humans can solve it. We can kill it. We can terminate it.